Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Gaming Time Solo with Dakota the Douchebag. Here I am, playing some more Hyper Metroid, and uh, we're gonna get right into it again. Fucking, yeah, just rocking it. Okay, so we are headed up to Brinstar. There's a lot of criteria I haven't, I still haven't, like, discovered, but I want to keep making some progress in this game and figure out what the first boss looks like and, you know, get, get some, get some playtime in here. And this wave beam makes short work of everything. Holy fuck. Although I've noticed it doesn't... Okay, it does go through walls. I thought it didn't go through walls for a bit, and I was like, wait, isn't that the point of having the wave beam? Okay. There we go. Up we go. It's funny because I can access Norfair already, and Meridia, and Turian, and I can almost access the wrecked ship. Um, which is crazy, um, if you think about the progression of the original Super Metroid. It's interesting that they have scenes that don't use doors, they just you just walk through them. I think that's kind of cool. Um, that wasn't, I don't think that was ever really done uh, in Super Metroid. I mean, there was, there was a, a moment where like you're passing through uh, Meridia while you're in Brinstar and you just kind of run through but that was a special moment that was a special moment okay well uh oof which way should I go okay uh like comment and subscribe if you think I should go left and like comment and subscribe if you think I should go right <laughs> oh man oldest joke in the book okay in the YouTube book Okay, that's just backdrop. Interesting backdrop. Like in this. Oh shit. Okay, don't run into spikes. That's rule number one of playing any game. Do not run into uh, unless you're playing default Dan. Don't run into spikes. If you haven't heard of default Dan, that's a little indie game where it's a platformer, but it does everything the opposite of what you would think it would do. Which I think is an interesting idea. I mean, somebody had to do it eventually. Okay, those are things you would see in Sector 5 of Metroid Fusion, I think. I'm a huge Metroid Fusion fan. It was, like, the first Metroid game I really pl I actually played to completion. Um, and I fucking love that game. Okay, I don't think I can bomb jump up there because simply because of the fact there's a ripper going back and forth there. Um, oh, wait, I can bomb him to death? Okay, well, oh shit. Well, so much for my life. Holy fuck. Okay, well, there's other ways to get back up. I'm not gonna bomb jump. Oh man, that thing moves, it's creepy. Ah, oh, you're creepy. Why you gotta be so creep? Oh, he, he can't, he can be attacked but not destroyed. Interesting. Games are fun. Okay. Nothing up there. Lots of grapple beam points. Do I get the grapple beam in this sector? Because that'd be cool. Sector. I call everything sectors because of Metroid Fusion. Oh, hey, another save point. Sure, I'll save. I've made zero progress. Make sure we need to take a note of that shit. Taking notes all over my face. Okay, that's just weird. Oh, those things. I hate those things. You can't do anything. Oh, you can kill them. Okay, well. Nailed it. Nailing it. Wait, it doesn't say there's a door here. Does this lead to a secret area? Apparently. Oh. Oh my! Well, uh, okay, get up there, Samus, for fuck's sakes. There we go. This looks like crashed ship stuff. Oh, hey, this might be the crashed ship. Wrecked ship, whatever. Oh, hey, that's a hole there. Don't do that again. Okay. Okay, so I can't go right, because that probably does lead to the, the wrecked ship. And Key Hunters! Yay! Key Hunters are actually a type of space pirate, if, in case you didn't know that, and they are 
only present in Super Metroid and Metroid Other M. But we don't talk about Other M because it was horrible. So I'm in undiscovered territory right here, uncharted zones. Oh, cool, I'm finding all kinds of interesting little things. I'm, I'm finding new ways to get to other places. Oh, they were also in Metroid Fusion, sorry. They were they were also in Metroid Fusion. I, I shouldn't forget. Key Hunters were in that. But they, like, I always thought that in Metroid games they'd eventually, like, start to explain more about the space pirates, where they came from, what they are, what constitutes a space pirate. Um, and they really haven't explained much about them, and gone like the the most explanation that's gone into them has been on the Met, on the on, in Metroid Prime Three when they went to the uh, space powered homeworld, which was really cool. Um, although it didn't make any sense because I thought that space pirates would go to other planets and enslave them and then make them into space pirates. Um, and so they'd have species from all over the galaxy, not just one specific planet. But that's just my thoughts on the situation. That's not what I wanted. My finger slipped. Ugh, for fuck's sakes. So I'm actually playing this with a controller because um, I can't really... I don't really like playing old-school Nintendo or old school games in general without a controller. It just feels awkward. And a lot of games don't know how to handle be like using arrow keys that you can press to the opposite directions at the same time, which you can't do on a controller. Okay, so there's a save station up here. So I might as well save because I'm gonna die. Any second now. And now it looks like, like, really looks like I'm in the, I'm in the wrecked ship. It's like I'm in the, ma I'm in a mapped area now, so I guess this is still Brinstar, but it says it's still Brinstar. But it doesn't look like what I'm familiar with as far as Brinstar goes. More uncharted territory. Yeah, this is just, there's so much. There's just a lot to see and do, but there's, well, there's a lot to see. There's not a lot to do. And this just goes back down to where I was, so I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, oh, wait, I have to bother with it because I can't get back up unless I bomb jump. And I don't want to waste everyone's time with bomb jumping, so let's explore some more, shall we? Oh, this guy takes a lot of hits. Holy fuck. And he didn't even give me anything? How douchey. Okay, where am I headed? Apparently this doesn't go anywhere but to a power-up. So let's go get the power-up and I guess go from there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh this, is, this is for grapple beam users. I don't have a grapple beam, so... Oh. Well... Or you could bypass the entire thing without a grapple beam. That is the grapple beam. Well then, I'll just fucking take that shit. I like how it, 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 it indicates that I'm supposed to have this very last. <laughs> like, maybe x-ray visor after it, but other than that, it's the last thing I'm supposed to own. I think that's funny. Wow, okay. So now I have the grapple beam. Sick. Uh, I guess I'll save that shit too. Uh, yeah, save it. Okay. <laughs> fuck. This game is fun. It's, it's very strange. Everything is happening in a very strange order, and now I can go places I... Even more places. It's all about movement. There's a lot about being able to go to... Unexplored realms beyond the, the the world of imagination. I don't know. I don't really have any way to put that. That makes any sense, so... 
I'm not going to try. Oh, shit. God damn it. Okay, I have to kill that motherfucker. I remember these things from Metroid Fusion when the X parasites were a big thing and they were just they were just huge douches. And the SAX was chasing me through an area where those things came to life. Can you kill it? Fuck. Jesus. Those things take a lot of hits. How do you suppose you're supposed to kill this thing? Doesn't seem to be taking damage. Uh... Well, I apologize for the annoying ass sound of Samus low on health. <sighs> but there's very little I can do about it right now, and I'm probably going to die anyways, so... Oh good, that's what I need. Okay, okay, that was skilled. I'm very proud of myself. I did it! I did it! I did it! Okay, alright. Okay. Get the fucking thing down. Oh, Jesus. Did it! Yeah! I didn't get any health. Shit. Okay. Oh, I can still rapid fire. Cool. Uh... What do I do? After that? Like, do I just... I, for, I've, I haven't really used these walls much. Oh, there we go. I did it. Guys, are you proud of me? I fucking did it! Oh, shit. Okay. Well, this is going to be a blast. Ah, fuck. Okay. Uh, that's not the right button. Okay. No, what the fuck? Okay, and... No, oh fuck, I pressed the wrong button. I let go of the wrong button. Uh, I've always loved this feature in Metroid games. It's super cool. I've always loved the grapple beam. I think it's like one of the coolest ideas ever. Okay, uh, let me... Okay. Yeah, I got this. Bam! Nailed it. Yeah, look at me go, making fucking progress, sort of. Not really. Okay, so we got the grapple beam today, and we learned how to use it. <laughs> Not like idiot, apparently. Sort of. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm just gonna harvest some fucking energy here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, man. So that brings us to the end of another episode of Gaming Time, playing Hyper Metroid. Uh, Gaming Time Solo, I should say, because I do intend to have Shane on here, and we're going to be uh, Shane the Human. He's our, new, he's our new guest, since we no longer have Kingsley. Um, 
due to certain events in, in on on the show Days of Our Lives. Oh shit. Okay. Hold on. We're going over. We're going over time for just a sec. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for much, so much for watching. Please tune in next time to Gaming Time. I'm Dario. I'm Dakota the Douchebag. I'm going to keep playing this. It is a lot of fun um, now that I've gotten into it. There's a lot more to do with the movement of Samus that is from Super Metroid. So I guess we'll see what kind of new powers and abilities we're going to unlock. Goodbye, everybody.